Lara Trump is with us now. Welcome back, Lara. Good to see you on a very special day, obviously. I, I, I have to say that there wasn't a great reception to the speech last night. Not a single elected Republican official was there. How do you feel about it? I, I, you were there, so I'm sure you're very supportive of, of, of your father-in-law, <laughs> but those of us on the outside looking at it, it didn't seem that he got the old magic. You know what I mean? Oh, well, I highly disagree with that. Look, for Donald Trump from the very beginning, from the first day he came down the escalator in 2015, in Trump Tower, it's never been about elected officials, politicians, people, uh, you know, in the swamp in D.C. It's been about the American people. And if you look around the room last night, you had people from all different walks of life. The energy there at Mar-a-Lago was absolutely incredible. It really did, to me, feel like the 2015-2016 campaign all over again. Let's not forget, at least in the House, uh, you have a lot of people that were there for the House leadership voting. But it's, of course, never been about any of that for Donald Trump. Look, I think we are at a point in America right now where we're really hurting on a lot of fronts. A lot of people are struggling. I think they look back not too long ago at when Donald Trump was in charge of so much of our country and how much different it was in America and how much better it was in America. So he made it very clear last night that he is running to bring this country back and to help people. He said it's about unity. It's not about Republican and Democrat. It's about we, the people of America, and that's who he's running for. Senator Lindsey Graham says if Trump continues with this tone and this message, he will be hard to beat. Can Trump stay on message? Can he keep that tone? <laughs> well, gosh, I would be a mind reader, and, and wouldn't we all like to know that if I could uh, d tell you that right now for the next two years? Obviously, it's a long time. This is a long campaign ahead of him. Um, and we know Donald Trump, he's very transparent. He says exactly what he's thinking on a whole host of topics. Uh, but this is a very serious time, and I think that speech last night was very serious because, like I said, People are looking for someone to help save this country. They know that Donald Trump was able to do it one time previously. I mean, you look at the successes he had, and not just for himself, of course, as becoming president, but for America. Look at how different our country was under his leadership, sure. and, and it was just so great for all people. So I think that is what he's focused on. Um, that, that speech last night I thought was perfect for the moment, and I think it's really going to galvanize a lot of support behind him. I've got 30 seconds, but here's what I'm hearing. Trump will go into the primaries and he will win the debates. He'll steamroller over his opponents. But when it comes to the election, 2024, he can't win, he won't win. What do you say? Oh, highly disagree with that. I think if there's ever been a time that people know we need to change course, it's right now. They know how good it was with Trump in office. And even those that might not like his tweets and personality, I think would be much happier to pay lower gas prices, be able to afford True. their groceries, and have a better trajectory for their lives. So I think they'll vote for Trump. We'll leave it there. You've had a long day, and we appreciate you being with us this morning, Laura. Come and see us again <laughs> real soon. You got it. Trump. Thank you, man. Thank you very much.